Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Deborah, and today I'm going to be making bunny ears because I've been invited to a virtual party this weekend, an Easter party. So I thought we might as well try and make some ears because why not? <laughs> I don't really have a better reason. I don't really have a plan right now, but it'll, it'll all come together. It always does. The first thing you're going to need is a headband. I already had this one. This ear's already broken off, and this one feels. Oh, okay. It's really flimsy, so. Well, that solved that problem then. I will keep these, because I'll probably find a use for them in a different craft. <laughs> so we've got a headband. Yep. I've got a box of old wire. I've got all this wire. Oh. So I've shaped this bit of wire into what I think is a bunny eared shape. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make another one of these. So that's the bunny ear shape I've got so far. Kind of looks like an odd leaf shape. Just gonna recreate that with a with another piece of wire. Just make the top of the ear a little bit more pointy using some pliers. Just use this other ear as a guide. That looks pretty similar. I don't suppose it really matters if they're exactly the same, does it? Hopefully not. On the top of the headband, where the little bits were, I'm going to try and attach my ears kind of in the middle there. This could be a bit fiddly. So we're gonna twist this wire around the headband to keep that ear in place like so. And with these extra little bits of wire, I'm just going to twist them back up round into the ear, just to give it a bit of rigidity, I guess. And then just snip off your extra little bits of wire. If you're doing this, be really careful. And it should look something like that. Go ahead and attach the other ear. I'm not even sure they look like bunny ears. Maybe they do. We have the bases of our bunny ears. <laughs> now that's done, I'm going to wrap them in finer wire. I've got lots of little bits of fine wire. Wrap it around the bunny ears, twisting each section as I go so it stays in place. So my ears kind of stay bunny shaped. And if they don't, <laughs> I don't suppose it really matters. It's a bunny, it's a general shape of a bunny ear. I don't think it has to be perfect because nothing in life is perfect. Attach our wire down here. I'm going to secure all this in place with glue gun glue because what else might I use? <laughs> Being a glue gun enthusiast, it would be wrong not to. I'm quite happy with how that's looking now. Tuck that little edge in there. So that's how our first ear is looking. Just repeat that on this ear. Both ears are done. Get your trusty glue gun. I am just gonna go and cover a load of the wire with hot glue, especially at the base of the ears because I want this to stay really secure. So I've glue gunned the first ear, that's how it's looking. So now I'm gonna glue gun this ear. Just glue gun all over the metal wire. That'll keep everything in place. Yes, I think they work quite well. Obviously this little bits will be covered a little bit more when my hair is styled when I'm wearing them later. Now you've covered your ears with glue. That sounds really wrong. Your, your bunny ears don't cover your real ears with glue. <laughs> Definitely not hot glue. We're not on RuPaul's Drag Race now. Bunny ear realness. <laughs> now this next part, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I was having a little dig in my craft cupboard and I came across this. Metallic flakes. So I've never used this before. I don't know when I've bought this. I suspect this was one of those random purchases when you're in, what's that craft store called? I was gonna say Dobby's, but I think I just spent too much time at the garden center. Hobbycraft. I think these were from Hobbycraft. Not entirely sure, Never mind. But my thoughts were, I have some PVA glue. I thought I might try pasting this on and dabbing this over the top. Could that work? I don't know, let's find out. Bit of PVA. See if this works. It's a bit like um, gold, like gold leaf nearly. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing PVA all over. Get a little bit of your flakies, picking them up with the same brush, and then just dab them onto your ears. So I'm just gonna keep building up all my flakies onto my ears, and I shall get back to you guys when I am done. It's the next day. And my ears are finished. Well, they're not finished, they're dry. <laughs> this is how my ears are looking. So I kind of thought the ears needed something a little bit more. So I blinged them. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I've done this on the other side. Ears are all dry. I'm gonna start here. Just been using my trusty glue gun, a pencil, just took a bit of blue tack and stuck that 
to the end of my pencil and just shaped it into a point. Just take a heap of gems, pop them onto your table there. I've spent a bit of time trying to turn some of them around so they're easier to pick up. Well, try not to get so much glue everywhere. Just put a little blob of glue onto the end of your pencil and just swirl that where you want the glue to be. Pick up your gem with your blue tack. Pop it on. So we're just gonna continue this process. Just a little blob of glue on the end of your pencil. Pick up your gem. Stick your gem on. Continue sticking gems on anywhere you want them. I just find this method of putting gems on is just much easier and much less messy. For me personally, it might be different for you. At the bottom of my ears, I am using slightly bigger gems and then slightly smaller ones as I work my way up the sides. Then once you've got a whole load of glue and then your pencil, you can just pick that off and start again. When I've put enough gems up the side, I'm just gonna go back and fill in all the little bits in between. This does take quite a while. I've been glue gunning and gemming for quite some time now. But we're finished with the finished ears. I will be putting a clear lacquer over the top. Unfortunately, the only lacquer I have at the moment is a clear matte finish, and I really want it to be a clear gloss finish. So, completely finishing these will have to wait. As soon as the lockdown's over, I shall get a lacquer that it's a gloss and not a matte. I'll get these sprayed and make sure that the gems won't pop off. They are a little bit heavy. So there we have it. Bunny ears, kind of. My ear really needs to be bigger for this. I maybe should have done them a little bit so they came out start started here, but I still think they're cute. <laughs> Oh dear, what's my life turned into? So ridiculous. This is really what I've spent my time doing in lockdown. Yeah, yeah it is. God. I don't really know what to say about this. This seemed like a great idea at the time. I've even gemmed all the sides and in between in here as well. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a little like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Do I have a plan for this? Not really. Should I have a plan? Probably. Maybe I should paper mache them instead. Would that be a better plan? I don't really want to paper mache.